All right, we do have a little bit of fun with our forecast here on Fox 21. It is the Wire Not Home Services three degree guarantee. It's where we give money back to charity. So, of course, an important part of the three degree guarantee is Trent Urban from Wire Nut. Trent, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks yeah, for having me. We appreciate it. And we're going to welcome now from Sarah's home, Vicki Prophet, who is the executive director. Vicki, thanks for being here. Delighted. We appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about Sarah's home. You guys do some really, really important work. We are a home in El Paso County, um, a licensed home for rescued sex trafficked teenage girls. Okay, and that, I don't know about you, Vicki, but the concept of sex trafficking, it makes me angry that yes. someone I would do so. that to another human being. So obviously there's a need there. Tell me a little bit about how Sarah's home came to be. Um, in about 10 years ago, some ladies were going overseas and seeing children being trafficked. Okay. They came back determined to do something about it, to get a phone call from a ministry on Colfax in Denver. They had been called by the police. A national convention was coming to town, and the police said, we need a place to put the girls. The oh, lady goodness. said, what girls? Well, those that are bring, being brought here to be trafficked during this national convention. Hmm. And that showed them that it's not only happening overseas, but it's happening here. So from that, Sarah's home was created. We've been open since 2013, although we were closed three years. We've serviced and walked beside 31 girls since then. And, and what does that walking alongside them look like at Sarah's home? Thanks for asking. Yeah, we have an accredited school on property. Okay. Uh, we help them emotionally, physically, mentally, they are broken, broken, broken mm. children. And from the inside out, we have to bring them to hope and to realizing that they are precious. They are precious children and they are worth it. Uh, so Trent, I mean, this is, this yeah. is really important. Yes. <laughs> it is, yeah. And it's probably, at least for me, it's one of those topics, I think for society as well, where it's like, well, I don't want to admit that this is happening yeah, and yeah, sure. so on. But I mean, they made the movie, uh, The Sound of Freedom. Right, I, yeah. It took me a while to give that a shot, but I did. And it takes you through a bunch of different emotions, most of which are what you mentioned too, anger. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, I asked Vicki, how do you do it? And you know, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to help with this. And, yeah. and uh, you know, what are we doing as a society? Why are we allowing this? Right. So what are we gonna use the money for? Just, I assume all of it to make it go, right? Well, number one, we don't take any government funding. Okay. And so the public and uh, businesses, churches, just people fund us. Okay. And also the extremely important information is that right now we're building a home for boys in, in Park County. We should be open in uh, January or February. We're the only home in Colorado for girls will be the only one in the United States for boys. Okay, you can learn more at sarahshome.us. Let's bring in the check right now, $1,560. Thank you so much, Joey, for bringing that in. You want to nominate a local nonprofit important to you, go to our website, fox21news.com. Yeah, very well, we're a little short on time. Okay, I'm sorry. Just This is about awareness. Be aware of this group and try to help Yes, them. yeah, go to their Thank website you. and learn more. We'll get it online as well. We'll be right back.